Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube and welcome to C and C++ graphics tutorial by using C and C++ language. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill fill up color inside the rectangle. It's very easy. In previous video, I, we have learned about what is set color, what is uh, set fill style, what is flood fill. If you haven't seen that video, I will suggest you please watch that video first. Otherwise, this video not going to be... Uh, you can't understand this video basically if you haven't seen that video. So first see that video go to playlist and check out that video. Okay, because I'm not going to cover all the things again and again. Now let's let's learn how we can uh, fill fill color inside the rectangle. First let me compile this. Here, here you can see the result we have a little small rectangle and we are going to put a red uh, red or uh, uh, blue color inside this okay we are going to put uh, blue color inside it so to set a color we use set fill style a function so write set fill style Be what this function is basically doing this function we are just giving values to this function and by using a flood fill function by using a flood fill function we are going to put those values inside this uh, rect uh, rectangle function now now uh, just just write a uh, set fill style and the first parameter will will be of uh, its pattern so i will write solid underscore fill as my pattern i just wanted to put a solid color inside the rectangle and now uh, in second parameter choose the uh, color which you wanted to put inside the rectangle i wanted a blue rectangle so i will write down the blue now let me uh, compile and run this and you will see no results everything will be same as it is so here you can see everything is the same no changes there is no blue color so what we have done here we have declared our pattern by using this function now we have color okay inside this function everything we have uh, we just have to put these colors inside this rectangle and this thing we do by using flood fill so define flood fill function and inside the flood, flood fill function we have three parameters the x value and the y value and the color uh, color okay which we don't want it to exceed now what's going uh, what going, we are going to put here in previous video we have learned uh, about set fill color uh, set st fill style flood fill by using a circle shape and in that case we only have a uh, x position and y position but in case of rectangle we have four uh, values here so which value we are going to put here we are just going to put the first two values okay just put your first two values the left and the top value we are going to put by incrementing one value if it's a 50 in left we are going to write 51 if it's a um, 100 in a y or in top we're just going to write 101 and in the last we are going to write down the name of the color which we don't want it to exceed uh, and i have uh, um, you know told you about what is this exceed thing uh, in previous videos so please watch that video by default right now our uh, by default the default color is white right now so we don't want it to exceed that uh, white color and that white color is uh, by default by default that white color is, color belongs to this rectangle okay so we don't want it to ex exceed that white color so just execute compile and run and here you can see we have a blue rectangle with the white bordered uh, with the white board borders what if we don't want it to have these white borders also we want it to have a totally blue rectangle in that case we have to use set color now uh, now use a set color function and by default we have a white color now i'm making blue as a default color and now in case of flood fill i have to change the values uh, to a blue why i have to change do this because now 
here you can see by default we have created borders of a blue color okay so what going to happen uh, blue color is going to fill up here and here we have written default color white so it it will it will look for the white color and it will exceed this rectangle it going to exceed this rectangle why because there is no white color we have told it that if it founds any white color you are not going to exceed that color that's the meaning of uh, this line let's see by compiling it and uh, the whole window must be of white color because there is no color to stop it there is no white color to stop it so here you can see we have a blue result now what i'm going to do here i'm going to tell it flood fill uh, a blue color i'm going to put here blue color now what going to happen here by default we have a blue border okay now what going to happen the color going to start filling up like this and it will touch this blue border and it will know that it's a blue color and i can't exceed it and it's only going to fill fill up this rectangle and we we, we will get the in desired re result compile and run okay something uh, happened here okay so what happened here okay i think i have to uh, copy and paste this code let me create a new file project changes to uh, no just write save copy paste here everything is fine and compile and run save save and here you can see we got the desired result so this is how you uh, fill the color inside the rectangle thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe bye take care